welcome to Crocker FPV and today we're with um, the electric go-kart. We're going to be modding it today to have this new um, 500 watt electric motor, double the power of the old 250 watt one. Same or well, similar RPM but just much more torque to make it better off-road and stuff. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Well, I have got started. I've, um, I've wired it up just to check it works. Taken out the old one and just plugs in the new one because this um, old speed controller was capable of 500 watt because I was eventually planning on um, um, giving it this new motor. So I've tested it, it will rev up, I'll show you that now. So now we've just got to, um, now we've got to take off the old one. I've already had to take off the seat um, to get to the screws that are on the, on the other side of here. They just go through the threaded bit in here. So I have to take off this and then stick on the new one. Now I think I might have to put it the other way around um, if it doesn't fit around those wires. But um, So this um, bracket here is slightly larger than this one, so it will have to be mounted to both of these um, steel bars under here. See, this one's just mounted to the aluminium. But that shouldn't be too much trouble. Um, and all the old holes will still be will be covered by the seat when that goes back on, so that's fine. Um, I've just got to make sure it um, still goes on the chain, really. That's my concern, because if I have to move it higher to get... Um, yeah, okay, so it is going to have to be mounted on me, sort of really awkwardly actually, isn't it? Sort of half on the bar, half not. So, um, what I might do actually is move that bar down because that's not at all um, attached to this. It's just sort of friction fit between the, press between the, these two bits of aluminium. So I'll just move that down slightly and put it in. So, yeah, let's get to it. So I've mounted the motor, I've drilled a couple new holes for the Oh, so I've only put two on it for the moment just to check it all works first. Um, the wires still hang down and now unfortunately the motor shaft was bent so um, not great for eBay there but um, it, what, what that means is basically it will be too tight on one half and then too loose the other half. So to correct that I've had to put it on the setting, move it such that when it's um, bending away it's perfect tightness for the chain so that when it goes closer it's just a little bit loose and doesn't pull the whole thing apart um, and then I put this um, um, an old card um, sort of like debit card or something I think that's actually a squeegee that came with one of those phone screen protectors but anyway put that on and an elastic band strapped to here then that just holds it in and it let we've got these little lips there just to let it slide over nicely so that actually works. Um, now I've also put this piece of wood, plywood on there, because the tyre isn't actually, the wheel isn't secured to the tyre, so the wheel slips independently to the tyre, and that means it, it was rubbish with this more powerful motor. So I've put that on there, really tight, so it just friction holds it in securely. And that's, it works quite well actually, so, um, it doesn't slip anymore so we got plenty of traction. Now I was doing, I was going up and down the garden just for some off-camera tests and on the final straight up this axle completely snapped and bent in half. Not good so and um, see it here, completely cracked. Yeah, not nice. So um, I've had to um, order another bar just thin bar just to stick on the stick on the in put on the slide up against the inside solid um, steel so that's much more rigid now I've just got to put a little a little hole in the sides there just to just hold it in straight um, so I'll do that and then we can do some proper testing 